Hey, good morning. It is hump day, hump day. Hope you guys are having a great week. It's halfway through it. Although when you're reselling, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you are a full timer and working outside the home, then today is hump day for you. Um, I kind of took yesterday off. So it was kind of my weekend for me yesterday. That is one of the things that's nice about reselling when you work full time is that you do have that flexibility and I can decide to take a Wednesday or a Tuesday off and work on Saturday. That kind of stuff is nice, but I haven't been feeling good this week and Monday I wasn't, yeah, Monday I wasn't feeling good. And then yesterday I wasn't feeling so good. Been really, really tired. I've had a headache, almost like the symptoms I had when I'm almost positive I had COVID, even though my test was negative, I'm pretty sure it was COVID but I kind of feel like the same, but not as severe. But I'm wondering if it's because I had gotten that vaccine shot. I don't know. I don't know. Saturday, I go for my second shot. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I, I don't have very many packages to package today. So it should be a pretty quick show. We're going to get get going. Uh, my husband has a chiropractor appointment, and I want him to take these to the post office with him. So I need to get them done so he can take them. All right, let's get started with what I sold. Um, actually, let's start with Etsy this morning because I got them right here in front of me. And I sold, this is a Happy Planner Notes. I did a, yeah, of course, I got a few Happy Planner stuff today. Uh, this is like a notebook. And uh, okay, good morning, Holly. I sold one of these before and I'm just looking to see. Yeah, so it's a dot grid notebook so instead of lines it has like little dots so it's great for people who do like bullet journaling and stuff like that uh let's see how much did i pay for this i don't have that in front of me because on etsy i don't put my cost of goods but i did sell it for 16.22 i'm pretty sure that probably includes their taxes because i would never list anything at 16.22 hey good morning spicy curry um all right so let's see this is gonna go first class so I need to grab a blank envelope. Did you guys see I did a video yesterday though? Did you find out what you sold? Oh, I did find that on Monday. Yes, thank you. I ran to um, Walmart in another town because uh, they said they had it in stock. So I ran over there and ran in just for that, ran out and, and got it. So yeah. Hey, I did want to say, say I'm selling something else I'm going to be packaging early, later on. And I thought to myself, I should mention this. When you guys find happy planners that are expired, so let's say you might come across like a 2017 um, planner, people will still buy them. Number one, the cover, if it doesn't say 2017 on it, people will buy stuff just for the covers. But just for these discs, people will buy for these discs. And this is a rainbow disc. So even if this was... I don't know, like I said, a 2017 planner, I would buy this, even just take these discs off and sell just the disc because the discs themselves go for some good money. Um, there's a one that I sold that I'll be packaging later on eBay. That is, they're pretty big discs, which is what made me think of it when I just opened it this morning and I opened it, grabbed it to bring over here to, to package. I was like, oh, these are big discs. I didn't realize that they're bigger than the book. So that would definitely be a selling plus that people can put stuff in them because people like to what they call Franken plan and they'll add more than one planner. They'll combine two planners. So they like the bigger discs for that. Uh, what stores carry happy planners? So Michael's, Joann's, um, Walmart has a very, very small selection of happy planner stuff, but they do have a few things. Uh, like I said, they had the Disney princess line. But I, they've clearanced that out. So I don't, you might be able to find some clearance. Like those Happy Planner Disney stickers that I had sold out of, that's what I had to go grab at Walmart. They're marked down now to $13. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out because if they go down to, I would say if they probably get down to seven and they're still in stock, I'll probably grab anything that they have. Hey, good morning, Lisa. Nine ounces. So yesterday I decided to go ahead. I, I was lazy late on the couch most of yesterday, except it was my husband's birthday. So we went out for lunch and we went out for dinner. But besides that, wow. And I did have to drive his tractor at one time because he was putting the his big, huge tires 
for his Jeep up on a tire shelf in our pole barn. And so I drove the tractor while he rolled the tires on and then rolled them off. I'm not a good tractor driver. He had to keep reminding me what to do because I don't drive the tractor that often. Uh, let's see. 468. Oh, yes, yeah, going to California. Like, that seems pretty high. Um, so what was I going to say? I was I said that for a reason. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, now I don't remember. So yesterday I was lazy on the couch most of the day. And I ended up buying, I finally did some research on a new web camera and a new microphone. I decided just to keep this microphone. I re-listened to some of my shows and I was like, okay, I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. So I decided not to invest in a new microphone yet, but I did buy a new camera. It's a Logitech, it might be like a Brio or something like that. So I decided to put my money in a better web camera. Specifically because I want to be able to show you guys something and not have it be blurry. So it has autofocus on it. Hopefully it's good. It has good reviews. Uh, so next is another happy planner. And this is an hourly one. This is my last one. I, this, I sold quite a few of these. But it breaks the day down by hour. And a lot of the happy planners that I sell are all weekly. So this is good for somebody who wants, you know, to write down their meetings and that kind of stuff on an hourly basis. And it also has on the back side, if you can see, sorry, the sun, this page right here says brain dump. So when they flip it over, it's just a blank page for them to write down notes and stuff. Uh, so Lisa says, my Walmart had some happy planners on clearance, like the extension pages, but not enough clearance to flip yet. Yeah, see, that's, I'm keeping an eye. If it drops down far enough, I will be picking it up, especially accessories. Accessories sell year round and accessories that you can buy today, you won't be able to buy next year. So people will like the, you know, they might be like, hey, I really like the format of this. I can't find them anymore. So they'll go to places like eBay and look for them. Or they'll go to Google and look for them. And Google will send them to eBay. Okay. I was going to go on a sourcing trip. Not really sourcing. Mom needs some art supplies. And we were going to head to Watertown today. But I said, you know, I haven't been feeling very good. And... I want to just stay home and have a, a day where I'm feeling normal before I venture out. Just because I've had to take a nap the last two days. All right, eight. Eight ounces. I only have three eBay orders today and two Etsy. Very, very, very short day. I almost wasn't even going to come on at all because as of... Like late, late afternoon, I had no sales. I did package orders yesterday. So that could be part of why I don't have as many. Because normally it's two days worth that I do here. But I did package yesterday. I had four yesterday I brought. Um, oh, an update. So the reason why I ended up doing a shipping yesterday was one, I had to ship out what I didn't ship Monday because I had to go buy the item. So I shipped that yesterday. And then the other thing is, remember those fairy gardens? I was really worried about it arriving in one piece and being okay. Well, I had a buyer, the very first one I sent out, she says that everything came loose in it. Like the glass and stuff was all okay. Nothing was broken. It just had all come loose, which is what my fear was. So I apologized. I said, I can do, you know, one of two things. One, you could open a return and return it. Or two, I can send you a bottle of glue. You can glue the items back down, which she actually, in her original message, had said something about they, these can just be glued back down, and she wasn't opposed to doing that. So I thought, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna set the parameters of what I'm looking to, willing to do, which was I'll send you a bottle of glue, and I'll give you $10 refund. She paid 30 something for it, and she accepted that right away. I may have been able to get away with just doing the bottle of glue, but I was so fortunate that I had a buyer who was extremely um, like understanding and wasn't like, oh, this are all broken and how dare you send me crap. And like she could have just been like really, really 
trouble to deal with, but she was so nice. So I sent that off yesterday because I forgot to do it Monday. It slipped my mind. And I sent her a message letting her know, and, and I processed her $10 refund. And she, again, was just extremely, extremely nice, telling me how much she loved the the um, the fairy garden and that my mother did a great job and everything else. So, yeah, that was good. It was a win-win for both of us. Um, Yeah, so they the Happy Planners are in where the, like, office supplies are. You'll see they have... Walmart carries a bunch of planning stuff, um, calendars, planners, notebooks, journals, all that kind of stuff. That's where you find them. Yep, office supplies at mine. Okay, so then let's go. That's all for Etsy. Only two on Etsy. None. I'll just let you guys know, even though I'm not sharing those other stores, none in my other store. I don't know. I was really excited about starting that other store, but I've kind of been feeling a little def defeated lately because it's not doing as good as I would have liked to have ha seen it do. Uh, hey, thanks. You like my carnival shirt? I do cruise with carnival when I can. I have, I have a, so I do all of my shopping with my carnival cruise credit, credit card and I pay it off every month. You, you guys hear me talk about that. I do all my sourcing. I put it on a credit card and I get points and I cruise for free every year, except for last year. Well, no, actually I did cruise in January, but I haven't been able to cruise with my points again because I got enough points now for another free cruise for my husband and I with a balcony and all that. But yeah, can't do anything. So I did get my new credit card in the mail because I switched over to a Capital One Quicksilver where I get cash back instead. Um, I'll do that one. We'll probably still like use the Carnival one every now and then, but we'll focus on the other one just to get the cash back rewards instead until carnival starts cruising again but yeah this was my 2018 the the horizon had just hit the waters of the in the u.s and this year and we were one of the first ones to go on it that year and this was my 50th birthday cruise so i had some family members and friends that went on the cruise with us all right ebay so i sold this it's a uh, Superman onesies. I guess you call them body suits, right? Because onesie is a trademark thing for Gerber. So there you go. Thank you. So I picked these up. As you can see, they were for Amazon. This is an Amazon sticker. But for some reason, I couldn't sell this specific bodysuit, which is so, so weird. Um, I picked up a bunch of them. I had Disney babies. Uh, I couldn't do Sesame Street either. I can now because now I'm ungated in Sesame Street. But I don't, isn't DC Comics Superman? Yeah, DC Comics. I'm ungated in DC Comics. So I'm not sure why I couldn't sell these. But for some reason I couldn't. So they went up on eBay. Paid $3 for these at Walmart. Sold them for $11.99. When these went on sale down to three bucks, I pretty much like wiped Walmart out. I had a whole cart full of these types of things, like a ton of them, because they were doing very well on Amazon. Um, so a little slow seller here, though, because I've had this one listed for a while, probably a year at least, probably more than a year. I've had this one listed. But I had but I had quite a few of these, probably. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe maybe 10 of these at least. And this is my last one. So they're not a quick mover, but it got, it got sold finally. And not for a huge amount of money either, right? $11.99. And I paid three bucks. Let's see how much shipping is. Six ounces. It sold via promoted listings. So I think it was on Monday. Somebody had asked me, do I promote? I think a drummer was in here and he asked me if I promote. And I said, I normally do, but I had turned off my promoted to restart them. I'd forgotten to re-promote because normally when I end my promotions, I'll wait about a half hour and then restart my promotions. And I never restarted. I think that's why my sales were so low over the weekend. Mm, let's see. So three sixty nine. So six sixty nine, and I sold it for twelve. So I don't know. Not a huge profit. What four or five bucks maybe? After the fees. So yeah, I did a video yesterday on on running your eBay reports. I don't know if anybody got a chance to watch that. I know I get questions every now and then about that. 
Um, and it's just so important to do it every month. It's really important to do it every month. Don't wait. Know where you are right now. Like I've heard, well, I started reading that book Profit First. And one of the things they talk about in that, just in the introduction, because I haven't gotten that far into it because I've been so tired. And then I read on top of it. And it reading makes me tired when I'm not feeling sick. So reading when you're feeling sick was even worse. So I only read the introduction, which took me forever even just to get through that. I'm such a slow reader. I have such a hard time because my mind's always going. So when I read things, I have to read slow for me to comprehend it because my mind goes in other directions. A lot of times I have to reread stuff. So they, But they were talking about how many businesses will think they're making money, but then all of a sudden they'll sit down and do their numbers and they're like, oh my gosh, we're losing money or we're just barely breaking even. And I've been doing all this work and hardly making anything, you know? So I think it's so important for you to sit down and look at your numbers. So, you know, is the amount of work you're putting in worth what you're getting back. And if it's not, then maybe you need to change up. Right. So I kind of was looking at that myself and thinking, I didn't make very much money. Well, I think what was it like 1700 maybe last month after all my expenses and everything that's just on eBay. That's not all the other platforms. And, and I, I think I had a okay month on, on Etsy. So I'm excited. I got to sit down and do that maybe today. So it was kind of like, okay, I got to look at that and see. And, um, but I think it's nice to kind of have those numbers in front of you. And I was like, okay, my, cause my ASP, which is your average sale price is low. I don't have a very high average sale price. That's because I sell a lot of RA items. So I did tell my husband that this summer, I really, really need to focus on getting more thrifted items, more garage sale items. Like I don't have thrifting stuff to do around here cause we don't have thrift stores really. So I have to focus on the garage sales. So that's my plan. As soon as garage sales start, they still have not started here. So, all, right. all right. So here's another happy planner. I sold this on eBay. It is a notebook, but it's, it's a nice notebook. I actually have two of these and I'm thinking about taking the other one out. Um, I think I probably thought about that too when I listed it. So it is, let's see, it's called, well, Radiate Positivity. Uh, so it says like clean out the, oh, cleaned out the fridge, wash sheets and bedding. Oh, I think they're blank and you can fill them out. You can fill it out, but I don't think you can see. See, I can't wait to get my new camera because it's all blurry, but they're like pre-printed pages. It's just a really nice, it's a notebook, but it has a format to the notebook. But anyway, I paid $374 for it and I sold it for $18.99. Uh, where's my Scotty? All right, I'm behind on your chat, you guys. Sorry about that. You prefer Hall now. Um, Hall in America? Is that Hall? Isn't for the party crowd for sure. Yeah, I don't. Carnival is sometimes party. Like I went on, I went on a weekend cruise. So I was down in Florida for work, and we it was Oct um it was in October. What's Columbus Day weekend? And we said, hey, why don't we, the group of us from work, why don't whoever wants to, let's go on a cruise to the Bahamas. And because we get done work on, on Thursday, Friday is normally our travel day. Well, Friday was the day you board the ship and then you get off on Sunday. And then Monday we would fly home and Monday was a holiday. So we wouldn't have to sign any vacation and we didn't have to pay for airfare to go on the cruise because airfare was already covered under our travel for work. So quite a few of us went on, I think maybe like 20 of us, 25 and oh my gosh, party ship that weekend cruise to the Bahamas was just a party ship. That's all it was. That was the, sh that was the cruise I got really sick on. I got the flu, I think, or something. And I was supposed to come home on Monday and then fly out Tuesday to Hawaii for another work trip. And I traveled a lot in my whole, my previous job, I was traveling all the time and I was so sick. I had to cancel my Hawaii trip. Like my ears never popped. I ended up having to go to the doctors and he's like, yeah, you can't, you can't fly. I got off the plane on Monday and went right to the like walk-in clinic. And they're like, yeah, you can't fly tomorrow. Um, I, I need to get my goo gone. I got to take off this gooiness. Just looking for my supplies. Getting low on paper towels. I'm going to have to remember to bring down another one. All right. So 
let's see love the carnival crew yeah so this uh so this t-shirt by the way it's um you can order these like online they have no this one was from the ship but i had one that was made for my birthday and we got them online um you should try yeah i definitely need to try holland america i do gamble on the ship so i end up getting like last cruise I went on had a really, really good deal. I had like a $50 cruise credit and all that kind of stuff. Plus I get free drinks and all that. And I don't really drink much, but I had free drinks. So people would come and hang out with me in the casino that were my friends. And I would order a drink and just hand it to them. And they had no problem. The wait waiter at one time was like, ma'am, would you like a drink? <laughs> After he saw he give it to my husband. And I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> So they don't, they don't care. Uh, I'm plat platinum level with carnival. I won't cruise with anyone else. 21 days from diamond level. Wow. Okay. Good morning. Fishing and picking. That is amazing. That's great. I don't know what color I am. Maybe like, I think I'm like a bronze. If I remember right, it's like a bronzy color on mine. I don't know how many cruises I've been on. I think I've been on like maybe 12. Uh, I've been on Carnival Cruise. To okay, which were you said? Yeah, I have never tried any other cruise line. My sister goes back and forth on a number of them. I got some fancy shipping supplies yesterday. Floral tissue and blank cards. I'm a shipping nerd. Oh, that is so nice. I made little thank you cards on my printer. I finally made some little cute little thank you cards for my new um, store I started up. Hey, good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Alyssa. Uh, you listen to audiobooks on two times the speed. Oh my gosh. Can you like understand them? Does it sound like a chipmunk? Probably not. Just two times. I like audiobooks. I don't, they probably have this one on audiobook. I should check it out. You're the same way with reading. Yeah, I'm really bad. Anthony fancy now. Who's Anthony? Which one of you is Anthony fishing and picking? Are you Anthony? I'm just looking who else could be Anthony. I'm guessing maybe you're Anthony. Sorry, I didn't know your name. Yeah, three to five days are booze cruise, especially when you're leaving out of Miami. They didn't even do the, um, like the announcements weren't even in English. Well, I guess they did them in English, but immediately were in Spanish because it was extremely high population of um, Miamians. <laughs> Hey, good morning, passports and pizza pies. Oh my gosh. And we're talking about traveling. So perfect for passports. I think my passport, it might be actually expiring this year. I should double check that. Pizza pies. Oh, I wanted pizza last night, but my husband wanted Chinese. We ended up going to the Chinese buffet. First time since COVID hit, we went to Chinese buffet. Well, he's been there, but I haven't gone because it's a buffet. And we're in a pandemic. Um, but he wanted Chinese for his birthday. Well, he actually wanted to go to a tavern. They ended up being closed because of COVID. Their staff is all out. So they've been closed. Thankfully, I checked online before we headed out. I went to see what their specials of the day were. Because we'd gone out for lunch. And I'd had a burger for lunch. And I didn't want to end up with a burger for dinner, too. So I was like, let's see what their specials are. And I'm like, oh, they're closed. So then he mentioned another place. And I looked. And I'm like, oh, they're, not, they're closed Monday and Tuesday. A lot of places around here are closed on Mondays, but usually not Tuesdays, too. Mondays, it's very hard to find a place to go eat around here. We don't have, like, big chains and all that. It's all, like, you know, diners. Lots of diners. Lots of greasy spoons. If you are eating healthy, it's extremely difficult to find a place to eat around here. Sometimes I just want, like, where's Panera? I want a salad. Although Panera got rid of my favorite salad, the Thai, the spicy Thai salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, your name is Alan. Okay. I thought Bluegrass was Anthony. He is. Is Bluegrass in here? Oh, Bluegrass Thrift. That's Holly. There is a Bluegrass. That's Anthony. But I don't think that Bluegrass is in here. So, all right. Fishing and Picking is Alan. All right, Alan. I'll try and remember. I should write it down. It's the only way I ever seem to remember anything. I only remember if I say it like 10 times, but it has to be 10 different times you come in here that I forget your name and you tell me it. Then I'll remember. <laughs> I'm so bad. 
All right, I'm still packaging that notebook. Isn't that crazy? All right, this is probably going to be... I'm glad I went and bought some... Not bought, but grabbed some more bubble priority mailers. Because, yeah, 1.3... Because I need one for this one. Do, 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 do. I was watching Holly. I was thinking of you last night because I was watching Fat Bird Thrift. I think that's their channel name. Two girls, two women. They're from Kentucky. So I thought of you when they said they were from Kentucky. I'm like, Holly's from Kentucky. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, get off my hand. Those things, they stick right to you. Three. I don't like that this ended up having to go priority. Huh, it comes up as media mail. I don't want to be media mail. Oh, wait a minute, regular priority is 773. Oh, wait a minute. How much is a padded? 776. Okay. Three cents more, but I'm going to pay three cents more so I don't have to take this out and repackage it. Yeah, bluegrass. Pika is Anthony. I thought, like, who did I miss in here? My husband's name is Anthony. My son's name is Anthony. Oh, wait. That one's going to New York, New York. Okay, my last item. So I picked up these. I got to take these off from Amazon. Well, let me open up Amazon. Take this off from Amazon. So let me type in cross sill. There we go. Let's close you down. Hold on. My phone's in the way. And it went off the page. Delete product and listing. Because I'm sold out. So I grabbed these from Ollie's, as you can see. The price tag, $2.99 each. They are just the valance. So it's just the valance up here. It's not this whole thing. Um, so I grabbed these. I grabbed four of them. And I listed them on Amazon. I was going to send them into Amazon. But I guess I didn't check Kiba or I didn't read something right. And when I got home, I was like, okay, they don't sell enough for me to mail them. I'm just going to list them. FBM, keep them here because they were a slow mover. So inventory um, fees would just kill me at paying Amazon if I did FBA. So I listed them on eBay. have four of them which is nice when you have multis. So somebody obviously must be doing a whole room and they bought all four of them. So I sold these for, four of them went for $51.52. I think I may have done a like multi discount. You know, you could do that on eBay. If you got more than one thing, you can say, hey, you buy one at this price, buy a second one at this price. Because I save money in shipping in the long time, in the in the long run, I should say. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. This actually, these stickers are not as hard to take off from this type of plastic. I can't wait to get my new web camera. I feel kind of bummed. I just bought this web camera that I got now. I don't know. When did I buy it? Maybe January? I used to say Michael, the thrifting Goomba, had said, hey, get this one. It would have been okay if it would have zoomed in. If it just had some kind of autofocus. But it doesn't. My, I think my Logitech, that I, the other one I have here, I think that one has it, but it doesn't have... Um, like, it doesn't zoom out enough. It's, like, really, really close. And then I was watching reviews, and there was another one somebody mentioned is so much better than even this other one that I bought. But... It just does widescreen. It doesn't come in at all. And I don't like, I mean, even this is, I don't know. I would rather have it be like this. I wish you didn't have to see, hold on, this, <laughs> all this crap over here. But if I zoom in too much, then you won't see even more of this. And it's bad enough. You don't see what I'm doing down below here. 
I have to tell you what I'm doing, which is removing these stickers. So it says these were originally $6.99. You know, I like, oh, I just sold something. I sold some mini notebooks, some, some prayer journals, some Christian ones. Uh, so these are, you know how they have like the stickers, they say their price is this, our price is this. So it said $6.99 on it. Um, hey, anybody who's thinking about downgrading their store on eBay now that they've made some of those changes? I was listening to Pure Hustle podcast and I didn't realize when they were mentioning it that eBay is going to waive any um, like penalties if you decide to change your level of membership for the month of April is what they said. I haven't seen that in writing anywhere. I haven't looked for it either, but that's what they said. So I know that um, one of my friends had mentioned they didn't want to change because they had, they pay for the whole year and I need to do the math and I need to figure out what's the best for me at 1800 listings. What's the best plan. And then I'll figure out which one I'll do. Cause I, I don't know. I mean, I got 10,000 listings at the premium. I won't do 10,000. All right. It's my last one. I can't remember to call the dentist today. Since I had my, my crowns, he replaced two crowns because of my teeth grinding. Remember that? When did I go? Like a month and a half ago, maybe six weeks ago. I have a toothache, toothache every single day now. Constant toothache from it. I keep forgetting to call. I got to call and tell them like, why is my, I, I regret paying 1800 bucks to end up with a toothache all the time. I don't know what could cause it. Don't knew, but it hurts all the time. Especially after I eat. Even if I'm eating like, what did I have the other day? Oh, I had baked beans. So they're like a soft item. And when I got done eating, I'm like, my tooth is really hurting me. Just from that very slight amount of pressure from the beans. Oh, I don't want to live with toothaches my whole life. All right, so I got these four. And let me put the top back on here. How am I going to ship these? Where are they going anyhow? Let's see. I don't think they would fit in any, like, regional flat. They're going to Georgia. Um, They might fit in, like, one of those big t-shirt boxes if I do two and then two. I'm going to try that. I call them t-shirt boxes. I don't know what they're called. I mean, they're kind of big for a t-shirt. I guess they'd be called maybe a jacket box. What do you guys call these? 1095s, I think there are. 1095s. I don't. I always call it like a t-shirt box. But I guess it's more like a jacket because it's thicker. I'm going to try this. I think it's going to work. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It fits perfect. Like, it's literally right at the top of the flat. Couldn't get any better than that. It's, hopefully it's not too expensive. May have have to go UPS or FedEx with it. $412. Four twelve. Fifteen. Thirteen. Three. I think that's the measurements. Eleven thirty-five. UPS is twelve thirty-three. FedEx is sixteen. So I guess that's probably the cheapest. Regional A. See, they went. I don't think they'd fit in any regional. A regional B is eleven ninety-nine. So no, I'm gonna go with this one. Let me check pirate ship. I don't know if it'll make any difference. So I upgraded from a starter to basic in February. Now I have a thousand. The new fee is not worth it since it went up from 350 to a thousand. The new fee is now worth it since it went from 350 to a thousand. Okay. Yeah. I went, I think a starter store doesn't even give you a lot of the benefits that a store gives you. 
I would never even go with it, ever start with a starter. I don't think it's advantageous at all. Oh, both of these are Georgia. I gotta find out. Bonnie. Bonnie. Here we go. And you are 15, 13. I was watching um a YouTuber that I used to watch all the time, and he hasn't been doing any shows lately. And I was looking back at when was the last time he did a sh did did one, and his video was talking about how he doesn't do pirate ship anymore. He's like he doesn't think it's worth it. Not it's not even worth the time to check it. I don't know. I still think it's worth the time. Ten sixty, so it is cheaper versus eleven thirty five. So I'm gonna go with pirate ship. Although I was listening to Clubhouse. By the way, if anybody wants to join Clubhouse, I do have some invites. I've had quite a few invites for a couple months now. Nobody to invite. Hey, good morning, Mom. Hope you slept good last night. I took some Advil PM or Excedrin PM. Oh, sorry. I hit my computer. And um, I slept okay. We left the door cracked a little bit so the cats could go in and out of the back porch. So I didn't have to get up and let them out because they wake me up all night long to go in and out. The, I want to say dumb ASS. It's one of my cats. That's my old one. Old man, I call him. He was scratching at the door to come into our bedroom from outdoors. I'm like, go through the freaking door that's open. Like, why are you scratching? He kept scratching last night. I was getting so angry. I never got up and let him in. Because I'm like, seriously, there's two sliding doors on our back porch. Go to the other sliding door and you can walk right in. Obviously, that's how you got out. <laughs> I wasn't happy at all. Um, I'm going to re... I like to put um, tape on these boxes. I don't trust that they stay closed. So I always reinforce them. Sometimes that stickiness is like gets old and doesn't stick very good. All right, that is it, I think, for today. That is all I got. just going to, oh, I just sold something. That's right. I got to go check. I got to go get the other thing I just sold. Um, all right. I sold. So this is, oh, P6. Isn't that right? No, it's up there. So I think that right next to me. I haven't put that tote back yet that I took the other day. Um, this has got the bird on the front. I'm going to go grab this and pack it for, I know the plans I have for you. That's what it says on the front. And it's got a little birdie. All right. Let me go grab it. It's only right here. Look how quick that was. This is what I sold. Oops. Where I know the plans I have for you. So it's a little notebook. But look, it's a pack of three. Pack of three little notebooks. That will fit in my little... Envelopes. Oh, my tooth is just a killing me. I seriously feel like I'm falling apart this week. Having a rough week. Got lots of little complaints. Oh, so I was telling you on Clubhouse. Six ounces. Let me not forget six ounces. Let me put that six ounces in before I have to measure it again to see that it's six ounces. Because how many times do I do that? I measure something, I get talking to you guys, and I have to come back and measure again. All right, so, Clubhouse. I was in a reselling room the other day, which, I don't know. It's just a bunch of Poshmark ladies just chatting away. I just find them not very beneficial most of the time. I don't go in them very much anymore. Um, so, I was in the room just listening. I was cooking something or doing something, maybe Putting, emptying the dishwasher and they were talking about pirate ship and one thing I hate is when you walk in late to a conversation you don't know what they said beforehand and you can't rewind it it's everything is live on, on clubhouse um so I walked in and they were talking about charges and that they had contacted somebody and they 
it was going to take like 60 days to get a refund. And they were like, that's unacceptable. So they called their credit card company and they said, hey, double check and see if you see that there's, I guess they got duplicated charged or something. So they ended up, the credit card company reversed it and did like a payment dispute or whatever. And she got it right away. Ended up being pirate ship. So she says, which how I understood it is, you know how sometimes you'll look on pirate ship and you'll say, oh, no, that's not that's not um, cheaper. It's the same price. I'm going to do eBay and I'll go back to eBay and print my label. Well, on pirate ship, there's a thing that says cancel and delete label, something like that. I usually will, will hit that because I don't know why. It just, there's a reason it's there. Well, she was getting charged and it sounds like because she wasn't doing that last step that she was getting charged and I thought well there's times I don't always do it and I don't ever remember getting charged but I don't check I don't check so it's something like if you're using pirate ship you might want to just make sure keep track for a little bit just to make sure that you're not getting charged for something because somebody else on there said they were getting charged also they don't use pirate ship anymore because of it they use shippo now um that disappoints me because I love pirate ship um, 357. Oh, I sold these for 1588, by the way. And I think I paid 399 for them. Yeah, 399 because for 432 is my total with tax. So, not bad, not bad at all. And yesterday I came down here and I noticed my cat on my chair that I'm sitting in right here, this like black fake leather thing. He's been clawing at it. There's claw marks all on it. You know that dumb cat I got to get up and let in every now and then? That cat. Not this nice cat. I should say nice. This is the one that was crying all night long, scratching at the window. Um, have your dentist check for root canal. I had a tooth hurt after a filling was replaced, and that was the problem. Yeah, you know what? So this is the thing, Holly. My Vermont dentist. I had When I moved over here, my crown popped off like twice and I had to I went back to Vermont and got it resubmitted because I didn't have a good dentist here I didn't like the dentist I had and so I was going back to Vermont three hour drive just to get my tooth resubmitted and I said to him the second time I'm like why do you think this keeps popping off and he says well you don't have much tooth left and um and part of my tooth had come off when the crown had come off it stuck to the crown when it popped off because my teeth grinding, it was moving it and it ended up breaking part of the tooth. So he said that, um, I'm like, well, is, you know, do, do I need to get a new crown or whatever? He goes, well, you probably need a root canal because there's just not enough tooth there to put your crown on a new crown. He goes, so he resubmitted it and said, hopefully it'll stay until I figure out my new dentist over here. Well, I finally got my new dentist and went to him he showed me pictures of what my crowns look like on the inside and how they have worn down so much from my teeth grinding. Like it is incredible. So, you know, I feel like I have like a white tooth. Um, you know, my crown is white or, you know, a, a, a faux color of white. Um, it was all the way down to the silver. Like it had worn off whatever that top coating is. And I told him, I said, well, I'm, I think when you pull that off, you're going to find I need a root canal. And he goes, well, we'll find that out when we get there. So I pulled it off and he's like, no, you don't need a root canal. He put a crown on it. I bet you I do need a root canal. It is so painful. And I don't know why it's, I don't know why it hurts more now than it did with the other one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the different type of crown. Cause he says there's two different types of crowns I could have. One was porcelain and one was like, I think titanium. And he goes, a titanium would last a lot longer. And I said, well, I'll go with that one, especially since, you know, with the teeth grinding, I want something that's going to handle it more if I grind. Because I grind even during the day. Like, I don't even know I'm doing it until my mouth hurts. And, yeah, it's got to be it. I must need a whole, I must need a root canal. And it ticks me off because I just paid an enormous amount of money for that crown. I don't know. I hate to have to change another dentist because they don't know what the heck they're doing. It just ticks me off. And the thing is, is I think it's either his father. I don't know, mom, if you're still in here, I don't know if it's his father or brother that does root canals right next door. 
So he could have just said, yeah, go see my brother or my father, whoever it is. Like, it's somebody with the same last name. I don't know. It's tired of incompetent medical stuff you get over here. It's just crazy. I should just keep driving the three hours and going back to my dentist in Vermont. I really, really like that dentist. I have no complaints about him at all. Well, that's it for my shop, my um, stuff today. Uh, let's see. I'm only 45 minutes in. I didn't have much to do today, though. But that's it. You guys have any other questions today? Because I did put in my title Q&A, reselling Q&A, in case you guys had any questions. I don't really have any other topics to talk about. I think I'm going to do a scavenger hunt video maybe later today. I probably will do that. I'm just glad that I have these packages, which let me text my husband and tell him my packages are ready. Because he needs to go to the chiropractor. Uh, let's see. You know, I went to tag my husband in a happy birthday message last yesterday because I was posting that we were out to eat. And I couldn't tag him. And I said, that's weird. How come I can't tag you? Do you know that when I asked him to be my friend back in February, he never accepted my friend request. He goes, I never, I never um, became friends with your new Facebook account. I'm like, oh. So I went to Adam as a friend and I couldn't even add him. I said, you have to ask me to be your friend. So he did. Packages are ready. I hope his back is feeling better today because he has been in so much pain. I feel bad for him. Oh, I just sold something. Amazon. Oh, I just listed these on Macari. Um, just when I think I'm done, I could wait and just send them on Monday, on Friday. Might as well go grab them though, right? So I just sold some Harry Potter playing cards. Harry Potter cards. I have been checking Facebook Marketplace lately to see if I can find anything there to grab and flip until our garage sales kind of start start up again. Um, Mom has been really good at sending me some links to some garage sales that she has found locally. One of them is this weekend. It's an estate sale. Looks like it's mostly just furniture, though. And the other one was mostly kids stuff. When I zoom in and looked at it a little closer, it was, uh, you know, like a used car seat and stroller and all that kind of stuff. All right. I have two of these. What kind? Which one did I sell? The one with the brown front. So this one. Oh, I got three of them. So let me change that down to two in stock. And they are in A7. Let me go grab that. I wish this was an eBay sale because I could have put it in that padded envelope. So I sold these Hogwarts playing cards. Hogwarts playing cards. So I paid $4.99 at TJ Maxx. I sold them for $16.98. But they have been listed since the holidays. Ship by. I have until the 9th to ship these. Let's get this done before my husband comes down. Get it done since I just texted him. So these are by a company called Paladone, and they are they are really good at giving you an IP complaint on Amazon. Uh, so luckily I have not gotten any any issues with them. I have in the past, though, but I took my chance with this one. Which I don't normally do that once I've gotten one, one dinghy from a company. Okay. Let's see how much you weigh. Go over there. Move out of my way. Six ounces. 
six ounces. So that's pretty good. Two sales right here this morning while packaging. Not too shabby. 351 shipping. So that's not too bad. That's a good sale. Yeah, I just posted these on. I was playing around with Vendu yesterday because like I was laying on the couch most of the day. And I said, all right, I'm going to import some stuff that have been listed for a while. Instead of just doing my new listings and cross posting them, I pulled in some older listings and did some posting on Macari. But since I have two more of these in stock, I'm going to leave Macari's alone. That's one thing I wish Macari would do is let you be able to list multiple quantities. All right, folks, that's it for the day. No more packages. And y'all have gotten quiet on me. You haven't said anything in over 10 minutes. So I'm going to call it a wrap. And I hope you guys had a great selling day. Uh, it's nice weather here, too. It's like in the 60s. And it's going to be another beautiful day today. And hopefully I'll get outdoors. I don't know. Still feeling a little crappy today. Kind of have the body aches and feeling like a fever is coming on. I hope I'm not sick. I don't want to be sick. I don't think I can, probably can't go get my second shot if I'm sick. Well, hopefully we get this kicked out before Saturday. Uh, all right. I will see you guys later. I will see you on Friday. Unless I see some garage sales popping around, then I, I'm going to have to reconsider my Friday morning show if garage sale season, once, once it starts up, because I'll have to be hitting up garage sales instead. So I might just do uh, packing on maybe like Thursday afternoon or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure out what works around my schedule then. All right, you guys have a great hump day and I'll see you all on Friday. Alrighty. Bye.